This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Two University of Arizona students are set to be arraigned today for allegedly attacking a black student on campus. The assault sparked demonstrations and protests. Matthew Grazer and Matthew Raleigh could face up to six months in jail if convicted. Michael Lacey, the founder of Backpage.com, is also due in court this morning. In April of last year, the federal government shut down the website over accusations of prostitution and money laundering. Today's court appearance is just a pretrial conference. The site's chief executive has already pleaded guilty to a federal conspiracy charge and agreed to testify against others. A U.S. Marine who went missing from Arizona has been found in Texas. Lance Corporal Job, uh, Job Wallace left his friend's house in surprise one week ago for Camp Pendleton, but never showed up. Law enforcement found him Saturday, about an hour south of Dallas. The Naval Criminal Investigative Service has not released any information about why Wallace went to Texas. A pedestrian died over the weekend after being hit by a pickup truck near Grant Columbus. It happened Saturday night. Tucson police say officers saw the man laying in the road and the truck pulled over nearby. They say the pedestrian was crossing Grant, not in a crosswalk. The driver of the truck stayed on scene and cooperated with police. And Tucson police are still investigating another deadly crash. This one happened Sunday near golf links in Swan. Tucson police say it was a single car crash and one person died. Anyone with information is asked to call 88 Crime. Every year, the Vail School District holds a diaper drive. The diapers collected then go to the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona to help during Diaper Need Awareness Week. And this year was no different. Not on your side's Veronica Acosta has more on the elementary school that brought in more than 40,000 diapers and why one of its students really stood out. Whitney, good morning. Well, they really have it all here at the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona. Everything from newborn sized diapers to toddler size, even adult sized diapers. And of course, this entire warehouse is filled with all different kinds of sizes. Now, this need, it's one of the many reasons that the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona takes part in Diaper Need Awareness Week. That week starts today, September 23rd. It goes all the way up until Sunday, September 29th. Anyone out there in the community can drop off diaper donations right here. They can be any size. It doesn't matter. You can do that whenever you want up until Sunday. For now, we're reporting from the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona. Veronica Tosa, Kagan 9 on your side. All right, good to know. Let's head over to April for a look outside. Good morning, April. Good morning to you. Not a whole lot going on in eastern Pima County or really even southeast Arizona, but this has been happening all morning long. So lots of flood watches and warnings up north, especially around the Phoenix and Apache Junction area. 73 outside, but we've got lots of moisture. You can feel it. It is very, very close. And the later it gets into the day, the better those chances we start seeing storms, especially tonight into Tuesday. So we anticipate this happening at some point later today, tonight through Tuesday, lingering but dissipating Wednesday into Thursday. Looks like we'll spend the majority of the week below the norm when it comes to our highs, and then we'll start to dry out for the weekend.